MTV and welcome back to my Madden NFL 19 connected franchise with the Denver Broncos. This is episode 5. So if you guys don't caught up, look for a playlist in my channel. And if you're new, subscribe and click, click that notification bell uh, to be basically told whenever we come out with a new video. And don't forget to click the thumbs up if you like what you see by the end of it. And leave any comments below. It tells me you want to see more videos just like this. And what else is there? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get at least 3 to 5 likes for this video, so smash the thumbs up. Uh, so here we are for this week 5 game against the Jets. They're 0 and 4. We're 4 and 0. Uh, fortunately, with all these injuries and everything, uh, but we got we got a few people. Uh, we got a few people left on the injury report here. Uh, we still got. Let's take a look. We got still got Shaquille Barrett out for the year. Uh, Devontae Booker, uh, Jordan Taylor, Shelby Harris, DeAndre's Mount is out for the year, Case Keenum is out for another two weeks, we, we got Royce Freeman out for one more week. Um, so, we've been surviving. Uh, hopefully I can take care of the Jets here, no problem. Uh, we will be playing in MetLife Stadium, which is actually just down the, the highway for me, but that's besides the point. But I'll see you guys there for this 1pm game, and yeah. Stop that one, that third and short. They're going to go for a field. This is a long field goal here, but I think they bomb it. Oh, that's way right. And that is off. And we're going to start with some good field position. Hopefully, don't screw it up. There you go. That is Demarius Thomas for a good first down. Gain of 16. Oh, no. Oh, it's going to maybe be a pick six? No, but Hyman getting robbed by Scrine. That's not what I was intending at all. Thought he was good to go, but got picked last second. Even after the big start to the play that they had, and the close, uh, close field advantage, they weren't able to capitalize. But we need to get our shit together for uh, throwing wise. Uh, three nothing Jets here in the first with about four minutes left. Oh no! This is a big run. Uh, no, 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 no. I see an injury to Von Miller. No way. Oh, boy. I think they're going to try to punch their way through it. Who knows? I think we stop him right here, man. Oh, my gosh. So slow, and that's a touchdown for the Jets. Ooh, it's a big run, big run. Ooh. There you go. Finally, something useful with the running game. Come on, catch that. And it's caught. That's a big catch by Manuel Sanders. Brings us to first and goal on the seven-yard line. Let's see if can get it. You see, they're going to hire him in her butt. Come on, man. Just kidding. Right there for the touchdown. That is the Marius Thomas going up the middle for the touchdown. Oh, it's a pick. Oh, what the? <laughs> oh, that's a pick by Chris Harris Jr. With less than a minute left. In the quarter. Oh man. Unable to move the ball even after the interception. Myself for a field goal. And it's a tie game right before the end of the half. The Jets will have a timeout left, so I have to be careful here. They've only converted once in four tries. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. To throw, it's McCown. 
Give me that. Another interception by the Broncos at the end of the half as Darian Stewart this time. So that's back to back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we're looking at a replay here. Long throw. Darian says they got it. We're not playing three yards in the cloud of dust football anymore. I gotta get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow. Catch that. Ooh! Oh, what a catch by Emmanuel Sanders with the recovery. Hireman tipped it, and somehow Emmanuel Sanders had the, you know, the presence to just get that ball up in the air. Oh, here comes Bridgewater running, and go for the first down. There you go. There you go. Bridgewater a little running game. All right, we'll try to hit Sanders or Sutton. The end zone here. Oh gosh, I got sacked. Pick that up. What are you doing? Pick that up. Oh my god. Really? It's going to be a long field goal for the Jets. After a freaking fumble. And it's good. Now they're up 13 and 10. There's about nine minutes left in the fourth quarter. We really have to tighten up here, man. This might be the best of the bunch. Let's see if they'll bite. Now a play fake here on first down. He's gonna fire one deep. Oh no. Oh what a catch! What a catch by Emmanuel Sanders for the first down. I mean by Demarius Thomas for the first down. What a catch. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you That's for a touchdown. Did he get it? For a touchdown across the line. That is Hyman with his touchdown. Let's go. Now they're up 16 to 13, possibly 17. Come on. Ooh, that's another pick. That is Chris Harris's junior's second pick of the game. What a catch. And it should be the last play of the game, and... That's it. They couldn't get a last playoff. And we win, staying undefeated. We won 17 to 16. Oh my goodness. What a cliffhanger here. Those interceptions by Chris Harris and Darian Stewart. And Chris, yeah, Darian Stewart and uh, Chris Harris was all. Oh man. Oh boy. Well, we had the stupid fumbles, man. Stupid fumbles. Um, but we, the only way we really beat them was through passing. There's no way we could be able to rushing. Our rushing game is complete garbage. That's all I'm going to say. So we're going to take a look at the stats here for the Broncos. Uh, 226 uh, passing yards, only 48 rushing yards, uh, 13 first downs, only two turnovers. That one was a... Uh, that was an interception early in the game, and then that fumble. Um, a poor third down conversion. We did that one fourth down conversion, a three for three in the red zone, and yeah, we had a lot of we had a ball time left. So I think that's what helped us definitely uh, in terms of player stats. Let's take a look at it uh, for the Broncos. Teddy Bridgewater, 89 passing rating, 251 yards, two touch, two passing touchdowns, and one intercept interception. Excuse me. Uh, for the rushing, we had 20 yards from Damian Williams, 20 yards from, uh, 15 yards from D'Angelo Henderson, and then 13 from Bridgewater. Uh, he did have that fumble, uh, receiving, the receiving core, it was just really Hireman, uh, Demarius Thomas, and Emmanuel Sanders, all with 50, 50 yards each, uh, defensively, uh, let's see, we had one sack by Deshaun Williams, one by Shane Ray, and then two interceptions by Chris Harris, and one by Darian Stewart. Uh, it was just a tough game. I couldn't get anything, I, for whatever reason, even though the Jets were 0-4 and they had a low rating, I just couldn't get to them. It was definitely a tough, 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 tough situation I was in. But Vance Joseph can now have an upgrade. Uh, let's see what can I upgrade here. 
about player progression. I think this is something that I can definitely, definitely uh, need. So, all right, so that's that. And scouting points are earned every week. Let's see. All your points as a portion of the remaining One no injury, of course. Who do we got? Hey. So we advance into the next week. And who do we have coming back? Let's see. We got Royce Freeman coming back from injury, which is definitely a big plus. Uh, but I think we have some more injuries here. Oh yeah, we lost the... Uh, who do we lose? Uh, we lost uh, Damian Williams uh, for five weeks to a dislocated elbow, so that's fun. Um, but we get Casey Keenum back after um, after this week, so I'm looking forward to that. And uh, it's gonna be difficult playing against the Rams right now. They're four and one, we're five and zero. Oh, but man, this is gonna be a tough game against them. And I wouldn't be surprised if this if they give us our first loss, but I'm trying not to be negative like that. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my uh, Madden franchise of the Broncos. If you like what you see, again, click that thumbs up button. And hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and peace.